can i uh, actually uh, fully taking uh, the suggestion from the chair that we need to restructure it better but if if i could suggest that let us go para by para let us agree to what what we can live with let us agree to how we want to change it and then restructuring we can do anu can i suggest let everybody have one round okay. of that because everybody might not be and then we'll come back yeah. 15 minutes take yes start start from there we go okay. quickly just yeah, 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 comments on this uh, so uh, like uh, we are discussing the role of like what is the dharma of river so collection transportation of course but the term deposition right to sedimentation is also a dharma of river like sundarbans whole delta is made by sedimentation so that one should be included the uh, collection transport and deposition of the sediments and there is 1.6 para where you have said independent assessment of each project including downstream so i just suggest that uh, we should use the term cumulative also and the uh, not only focus on the downstream because in such few cases we have discussed how the upstream is also impacted by a big project because then they they say that because of that time you can't build you can't extract any water from the upstream like in the area of tribal areas we have seen and we also have to keep uh, in mind the future developments uh, and the uh, last point i in the para 2.1 where you said maintained the maintain also confusing term because government will say i we are doing it for maintaining this flood plain maintaining this catchment so we have to find some alternate term like relieve it untouched or like in natural way like all this thing okay thank you uh, i have two comments on the structure and one on the content so my first comment is that uh, i think the very first paragraph where we appreciate the intent of the government is sort of incongruous with the rest of the declaration i think we can have uh, and then it becomes too um, i mean if we want to appreciate and also have some reservations about it then i think we can have a separate uh, sort of a resolution instead of calling it a declaration because the declaration from a conference will also be a longer lasting document and then you know this is more uh, contemporary or immediate relevant so i would suggest that we take it out and then appreciate a bit more and also express our reservations uh bit more so maybe make a separate two paragraphs for that so that's my first suggestion second suggestion is i agree very much that the structure needs to be reworked uh, and my suggestion is to sort of uh, do it in the same way as the sessions were structured where first we say what is a river that's the definition of a river then what are the essentials of a healthy river and i'm just reading from the uh, program and then what are the key threats to the river and then you know what are the key points of rejuvenating or uh, keeping rivers alive so if we have that structure uh, i think it will be good and all of that can be summarized initially in one paragraph and then it can be detailed i'm just suggesting that the structure in terms of the contents i think that the first section which is the aviralta or unfetteredness i think is uh, uh, quite problematic uh, because uh, it's sort of i think essentially it says that yes you can go ahead and build all the dams and all the this thing you want to do a little bit of assessment and that's the situation even today where you know you are supposed to do a eia uh, and then you know you can go and build all the dams and all the things you want i think that section should be much stronger uh, i would say that you know any obstructions um, that we talk about uh, must be mentioned very clearly to be of the last resort if we even don't want to say that no uh completely no to that and i think um, there was a very important point which came up in the uh, discussions about the connectivity the three connectivities longitudinal lateral and um, uh, vertical connectivity vertical connectivity i think we should emphasize that that anything you know that breaks these connectivities should not be undertaken in a river and if at all there is a need it should be of a last resort so i think it should be much stronger that's my comment yeah, Uh, yeah the, the first thing is uh, you know uh, there was one uh, the first i think was the first slide where you said uh, global global regional local instead of that local regional global i mean just a matter of wording but it makes political sense to do that uh, uh, secondly uh, like i said uh, i mean like uh, shripad said i also feel that they needs we need stronger words for dams we need stronger words in this charter 
uh, especially dams with names because there are uh, the considering that the largest number of displacement today is from water based projects on rivers uh, we need to mention displacement uh, very categorically and that we take sort of cognizance of the displacement happening and very strong words with names of certain dams in india that are coming up you know ongoing uh, subansiri polavaram you know many dams in arunachal pradesh need to be mentioned in the charter that's what i feel uh, and uh, whether we are going to also mention that most of this uh, river water projects are routed towards urban centers and industry rather than taking for, rather than for the common people so if we want to make that point also uh, there was one point you made about pricing of product based on water footprints uh, i think the danger to such a thing would be i doubt if it would really reduce the water footprint because now the whole concept is pollute and pay for it so the you can pollute but you can also pay for it so anybody will be ready just like in land acquisition people are ready to pay four times more but still acquire land so there's a danger there then uh, one point is that minimum use of water uh, for agriculture there was a point mentioned uh, sometimes that again leaves the onus on the community usually small farmers where the government tells them use less water but nothing for the industry and i feel that the entire charter does not mention in strong words water for industry uh, lastly just uh, like on the structure i think yes it is uh, the sentences read uh, too long and uh, it seems to ramble and just needs to be put very specifically in categories thanks so uh, so just uh, i'll come back to you if you don't mind i'll come my because he has done a wonderful job of giving us a i want to speak this interview okay let me ask the group do you want to stop the discussion and go point by point or do we want to fight like yeah you know sir sir one i think one is more issue just give me another 5 10 minutes okay i'm sorry sir, sir. sometimes i have to do irrational things no no i know but we'll come back to that we'll come back actually i am from gaziabad and we have our river indan which is most polluted river which comes from saranpur <laughs> and merges in yamuna at momnathanpur which is highly polluted and even you cannot find any aquatic life there number 1 river bed should be protected because hindan river bed has been encroached by land mafia and many houses have been built over there even under the water also they they have pillars there in water and when they, some day flood will come they will submerge and many people will die and there will loss of life and uh, property and human being also number 2 i also want to say that uh, ponds springs nalas and many other things which conserve water and protects should be protected and there must be law also third the word has been used avoided in linking river my saying is it should be banned river linking should be banned there should be no possibility of linking otherwise because if you are linking a, a polluted river with a clean river you are also polluting other river also that is i want to say thank you sir sir yes let's take those uh, two questions and then we think of sir a uh, very small suggestion because knowing the fact that the last tract of our flood plain is either dead dying or eroded and therefore we need to if if we leave them as such probably they will take ages to come back in its form so therefore if we can include ecological restoration for quick recovery of those flood plain that might be of great help for any river thank you then you and then we wind up this phase one thing is that the need to uh, look at rivers and river basins in unison need to be stressed uh then uh, as sort of uh, demands the urgent need for status assessment of rivers in terms of human interventions and other factors uh may be discussed and then again the need for holistic river rejuvenation plans in a time bound manner at least to ensure continued existence of human beings need to be stressed thank you yes mai is pure charter mein ek demand rakhna chahta hu hamare jaisa vishay abhi bhai sahab ne kaha 
डीएम साहब ने भी कहा कि जो तालाब हैं ये सब लोग ये रिजनोट होने चाहिए कंजर्व होने चाहिए एक नाइनटीन में एक रिपोर्ट आई थी फेमिन इंक्वायरी कमीशन उसने बताया था कि यदि हम तालाब से सिंचाई करते हैं तो नहरों से ज़्यादा इकोनॉमिकली वो फ़ायदेमंद होगी तो और जैसा सुप्रीम कोर्ट और अन्य और अदालतें भी उसको प्रोटेक्ट करने की बात कर चुकी हैं तो मेरा ये कहना है कि हमें नदियों से जो हम पानी निकालते हैं सिंचाई के लिए और पीने के लिए निकालते हैं तो जो सिंचाई का पार्ट है वो हम काफ़ी हद तक नदियों पर बोझ कम होगा यदि हम तालाबों के से सिंचाई करेंगे तो मेरा इसमें ये सजेशन है कि इसमें एक तालाब इसके लिए तालाबों के संरक्षण के लिए उनके डाटा कलेक्शन के लिए इन सब के लिए एक तालाब विकास प्राधिकरण या इस तरह ही कोई अथॉरिटी बने जैसा कि हम एक छोटी सी एप्लीकेशन देते हैं और मानवाधिकार आयोग उसको कंसिडर करता है या एक महिला आयोग करती है उसी तरह मेरा यदि बास का तालाब एनक्रोच हो रहा है या पॉल्यूटेड हो रहा है तो मैं एक एप्लीकेशन दूँ या एक नंबर पर मैं कॉल करूँ जिससे कि उसके लिए एक अथॉरिटी बने जिससे कि उसको बचाया जा सके तो अगर इसमें एक तालाब विकास प्राधिकरण की बात अगर इसमें हम कर दें तो नदियों पर उसका सिंचाई का बोझ बहुत कम धन्यवाद अच्छा थैंक यू आई want to apologize because i know that some of you felt we should go by the structure but you know just as we are against damming the natural flow of rivers i don't think chairpersons should damm the natural enthusiasm of a seminar where people have ideas and energy so i think we've given one chance to hear everybody now i would suggest that you you might not be able to get through the whole document but if you take section by section and say okay now this section does anybody have any particular comments then maybe we will be able to get through that so can i now hand it over to you aap aap le rahe ho na notes le rahe hain now uh, this first statement that this conference acknowledges with appreciation the intent of the present government to rejuvenate river ganga although the talk of river development is confusing and worrisome the comment has been that this should not have a place here in this in this 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 could be is, is spoken before the minister fine but but it it need not be uh, kept kept in the declaration as such uh, is 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 that the consensus of the house yes, yes. yes. i disagree okay i disagree because i feel that the, the you know, emphasis on the ganga has been given and the ganga is the something that the prime minister and the government is on the election on that basis so uh, it, it is fine to project it as it right in the beginning and uh, no so the point is that we would we would still say this we would say this in the plain in the in the final uh, valedictory but we do not include this as part of the charter as such no sir you must include i think you should i think you yeah Okay. So, so what you are suggesting? So, so what? Yeah, what? Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Okay. Is that the house is uh, consensus? Yeah. So, so what what we could do is, this is this is pretty long. Now the the minister is here only for twenty five minutes. So, what what we could do is we could produce a smaller version, a summary of this declaration, for the benefit of the minister, where we use all the strong words, and and present it to her. and this we actually the, this this remains as the daily declaration on reverse no but i i agree with sejal here don't mix up a political statement with a statement about reverse why not talk about earlier governments earlier prime minister so let's leave this out okay. this is a separate so, issue so uh, please you are taking the notes so we, up why am i here because if you are going to give it short cut the summary of this thing to the minister yeah 
that will be fraudulent because the minister will go away thinking that this is a part of the statement which it is. In his speech of welcome, he can say this because that's on his head. But <laughs> collectively, I'm not sure we want to say this. Okay. Fine. So, so we can remove this. Now, conscious of the fact that rivers are commons with a global, regional, and local relevance, uh, if we if we reword it, saying that conscious of the fact that rivers are commons with a local, regional, and global relevance, which was suggested, is that fine with? The way it is used is fine. So, what, what we will do is, with a, with a local, yeah, regional and global relevance. Okay. Then, knowing that, knowing that rivers are much more than mere channels of flowing waters, they are natural ecological systems with key roles to play in maintaining the water and nutrient cycles. Any problem with this? Yeah. Biodiversity. Ecological. All rivers are not biodiversity rich. So, emphasizing biodiversity rich word here is inappropriate. The ecological terms are biodiversity. I think rivers are rich in biodiversity. No, but ecology itself is implied biodiversity. Can I suggest that at the moment leave the term ecological here, but make sure that the term biodiversity gets adequately reflected because I agree with him, it was not adequately there. Though the term ecological systems covers biodiversity as a component of that, so let's for them. No, because what I'm saying, why they say only biodiversity, there are other issues also. So, but just make sure there's an adequate mention of that biodiversity <coughs> later on in the document. Is this? After the first line, I think there should be a comma and not a full stop. Yeah. Yeah, I think sir, that, that will, will, will in any case take care. All the editorial things we will certainly. The, the previous slide, the yeah. rivers are natural ecological. Uh, rivers are natural? Ecological, <coughs> uh, natural, social, cultural, ecological. Maybe somewhere that. Yeah, yeah. Social, maintaining culture. water and nutrient cycles and also, you know. Yeah. Then there's a danger no. of having economic added to <laughs> <laughs> No, you see, because no, later yes. on, let us see. They, okay. Things are coming in our later on. No, yeah. On the previous slide, slide if instead of rivers, we could add river systems to include all yeah. the streams and lands. That's right. No, we are saying natural ecological systems. Okay. And that is why we are not saying river, we are saying rivers. Yeah, that's okay. So, we as an audience can appreciate that when it goes yeah. to a broader audience, they might do it. So, what you are suggesting is conscious of the fact that river systems are common. Is that what you want? Sir. I just want to add one word there, you know, maintaining the water and nutrient cycles. And it's also about land building also, which relates to sediments. But then it comes to the like, uh, third point, site tool is very safe.